Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, lecture uh, on GeoPandas uh, using Python. Uh, so by the end of the tu this tutorial, um, you'll have done something uh, like this map, uh, correlated map uh, for uh, world countries uh, on population database. Um, first, uh, uh, what's GeoPandas? So GeoPandas is a Python um, library or a package, um, as you can see, the main GeoPandas website. Uh, so GeoPandas is an open source project uh, to make working with, you know, geospatial or geographic data in Python series. So as you may know, um, Pandas, you know, works with um, a database, uh, a non-special database. So, so GeoPandas is an extension to Pandas where you are able to uh, manipulate um, and um, access and analyze um, geographic data with geometry or um, um, you know geographic information or geospatial information all right uh, you can go through this you know main uh, geopandas website for more information uh, but let's get started so uh, first thing first is um, you, you need to install some important libraries for this uh, analysis uh, so the first one is um, you go ahead and do it in a conda environment so the first uh, package that you need is um, conda install um, conda install uh, i'll actually write this in a markdown so that we're not um, assuming this as a code to be executed uh, so conda install um, c conda forge And I'll, I'll list the, the files, the libraries um, that I, I'll be um, import, um, installing using this um, code on, on a Conda uh, environment, um, something like this. So I've already installed them, but just for you, in case if you're interested, this is the, the code, the example code that you would need to execute in Conda. And Shepley. And the other one is PyProj and R3. And the second um, list of um, package that you need is um, actually Conda, uh, uh, sorry, Pandas, the Panda library. Um, and next one is GeoPanda, the fun part. So I'll use um, this command GeoPandas. All right. So you will need to execute, um, you know, this in a Conda environment uh, to install all of this uh, important package for an analysis or geospatial analysis. Uh, once you are done, uh, create a new cell and try it. Uh, I assume that you have already uh, installed this in a Conda environment and then let's, let's import all of these libraries, um, actually some of these libraries for this next step. So I'll import pandas as pd just to make it short and import also geopandas. And I would need to do some visualization or plot things, so I need Matplotlib, uh, a, a popular um, uh, visualization um, library in Python. And this is Matplotlib. And I'll import it as uh, PyPlot. Okay. And next uh, is uh, pandas data frame options display max rows. Okay, and then once I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and execute that. So it's busy here. Uh, so all of my packages are imported. Uh, cool. And the other thing is I'll import a database which I have, which is a, a, a geographic data or a polygon data which contains population um, as well as uh, country boundaries for all uh, countries around the world. 
So I'll be using uh, creating a variable first, countries, and uh, use GeoPandas to import this um, uh, geographic or geometric data or geospatial data. That's the, the beauty of GeoPanda, right? You can access and manipulate geospatial data using GeoPandas. And then read file. I'll apply a read file. Um, and I'll actually go to my, you know, fall uh, directory here uh, to import um, my data. Uh, actually, this is the different data folder here. And I'll actually create a single quotation and then paste my um, layers here uh, it is found in data's okay and I'll add data actually slush um, what is that folder here so it'll be countries database and Actually, I can write that here, all of that, and then slash that specific name. I'll copy that name, file name. So if you have saved your shape file or geospatial data, uh, you can um, you know, import it like this to open it in a GeoPandas environment, okay? And so the next thing is actually to, um, you know, um, and I need a ship file. It has ship to access this, all right? So I'll execute that um, to import my uh, ship file or geometry file. And um, I'll call that database, uh, this variable or this uh, geometry file and execute that let's see if it um, perfect so what we are doing here is let me just change the zoom okay it's 150 it's fine i hope you can see this um so the next one is what i'm doing here is just i imported this uh, shape file or geometric file what i'm doing here is just um a print that to look at the database right so i have a database which has uh, iso a3 which is a short name for countries and here in the second column, you have countries, uh, you know, Angola, um, you know, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, and what have you. And also the continent. Um, you have um, a couple of uh, parameters here. The first one is population estimate. So this is a population data. We'll be using this data to uh, plot, a co to generate a color plate map, okay? And then the second one is the GDP, uh, so country GDP, right? If, if you're interested to plot, we can also um, call this, um, you know, uh, attribute uh, from the database and apply it in, in our, um, you know, visualization, uh, okay? Uh, so next step is, so let's just generate a simple, you know, plot, not fancy one, not uh, with a nice legend, but just a simple plot. You know to you know generate a map of this uh, you know database so what we can do here is um, countries plot and this will give us um, just the data plus plot this will um, you know generate a simple you know just basic plot okay let's execute that perfect so you can see that that's the database with countries database and which has population and GDP but what we did here is just, just you know, plotting the geometry, um, the spatial extent of the data. So, I mean, this is not fancy. It doesn't tell us anything in terms of the, the data or the attribute. But we can just, uh, you know, sim generate a simple plot to kind of make sure that we have the data. We are able to access the data, okay? And next is to um, actually uh, generate um, a database. I'll call countries head and execute that. Okay, we're doing the same thing here. Whether just we we do you know 
uh, you know, countries or countries um, uh, dot head will actually generate, um, you know, the same um, database visualization or just we can visualize the attributes, okay? And so now let's make it a little fancier. You know, here we have, you know, plotted the basic um, geometry, right? Now uh, let's do a little bit, you know, let's just call this population uh, attribute and plot that to generate some sort of coral plated map, okay? Coral plate map. So instead of um, printing, uh, plotting, you know, the countries database, I'll plot um, countries dot plot, but then I'll define define the column. Which column am I, am I you know, visualizing? So let, let's define column is equal to. I'll just copy this and copy paste. Let me create a single quotation because it's a string here. And this will generate a coral plate map showing the population estimate for all countries around the world. Let's just execute that. Awesome. So as you can see here, uh, you know, a little, um, I mean, it's still basic, but you can see some, you know, variation uh, on the population estimate. As you obviously, you have, you know, the highest population estimate in India and China. And next up is North America uh, and Nigeria. So, you know, you, you, you can see uh, in, in, in Russia here. Um, so we can make this, this a little more better, but it's better than just, you know, uh, plotting the, just the polygon, right? So this is a little fancier. Uh, we can do more, you know, we can do better. And then let's also look at the GDP, right? Uh, this column, okay? Let's just copy that. Actually copy this bit of code and then paste it in the next cell. Let's just create a few other cells. Instead of pop uh, estimate, I'll just copy this uh, GDP, right? Copy that. And then paste here. So instead of population, I'll plot a GDP um, by country, right? So it's slightly different, right? Um, so this is just a simple way you can use, you know, GeoPandas as well as my plot leap, um, you know, to demonstrate or just uh, generate some plots using geospatial data or geometric data. Uh, in addition to pandas uh, data frame, which can access non-spatial data, right? Okay, um, now, uh, you know, the fun part is to generate some sort of, you know, um, coral plate map, which makes sense, like, which um, has some legend and nice, you know, professional looking map, right? Let's get started with that. So, um, we are... Um, we have already, you know, um, imported matplotlib, so let's just do the other ones. Let's import um, the rasterio package. Um, actually, let's try it that way without uh, importing this. So let's generate a figure x. So this will define the uh, more like uh, a customized version to define the size, the width and the height of the figure, right? So plot, subplot, and a figure size. We call it fig size is equal to. So we'll define the size of you know that figure that we're generating. And the other parameter is, um, you know, aspect. KW, um, dictionary, and aspect is equal to, okay. All right, um, and so that's just the figure, you know, layout. And the next one is actually to import, you know, the country's database, which has population as well as, you know, GDP. 
So let's plot that. So plot. But in this case, we define a column again. So the column is pop east, right? We'll just copy this here. All right. And just create a string here. And another parameter is a scheme. We, um, the scheme is what, what, what kind of um, visualization do you prefer? Uh, let's just do quantiles, okay? There are various, you know, visualization uh, parameters, natural equal interval, natural, natural, you know, natural interval and quantiles and, and, and various visualizations. So the, for this example, let's just do quantiles, right? Um, all right, quantiles and, and let's also define the color parameter. What kind of color do we need? Let's define uh, green and blue, all right? So this will pull the green and blue color, um, color format. And the last thing that we need to define is a legend, whether we need a legend or not. Here we go. So legend here. Um, and the legend is true. That means when you uh, uh, make the legend as true, it will generate a legend, okay? So this, and also x x is just equal to x, which is the, um, which is defining the figure size, right? So now, you know, this one is a basic one, right? It doesn't have um, more professional looking, um, you know, color bar as well as legend. And let's just ex execute this. Fantastic. So this is, I mean, when you compare this with this one, you can see the difference, right? So by applying, you know, defined color, defining color scheme, and you know adding a legend here and also customizing the dimension of the layout you can generate uh, a nice you know professional looking you know map so what you have here is that um, population estimate for um world countries as you can see here the dark blue uh, is for you know countries uh with you know higher population um estimate whereas the yellow um, countries here have lower population um, over here so this is just a, an example to show you how you can apply geopandas and matplotlib for your you know visualization or to generate a, a more nicer professional looking um, uh, map or special map for your projects